tonight at Pele Fest celebrating the fifth and final season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I'm Sari Cohen. Get ready for a first look. What drives Midge Maisel? I want a big life. I want to break every single rule there is. Oh, boy, I'm lucky. This Mrs. Maisel, you say everything I think. A terrifying connection. What does it feel like now being here at Paley Fest celebrating the five amazing seasons of the show? Yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible. Um, I mean, if you had told me before season one that we would have had five seasons, I would have believed it, to be honest. It's a great show. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's wonderful to be, you know, back with my cast, because we wrapped, I guess, in November now. And, uh, you know, we still keep in touch, obviously, but when we're all together, it's just, it's a different experience. So let's talk a little bit about Joel's ending. Does, does he get his happy ending? Uh... I think you'll just have to watch and find out. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think anybody is going to be sad f by anybody's endings uh, necessarily. But, um, yeah, I think, I think the fans will be happy. When you look at this series as a whole, it is really, it's sort of overwhelming. What an incredible ride it's been for all of us, but the scope that they covered in five years with all of these characters and all of the journeys that they put on the screen. I'm so excited for the audience to see it. I have to say that, but I'm really sad it's over. This is my lucky day. My business is really picking up. It's a busy professional office now. Susie's arc. Well, one of my favorite things about this season and really the whole series, Amy was brilliantly did this. She kind of had Susie start as this little ball, you know, this hardened ball, and little by little, she opens up and opens up, and season five, she kind of lets some people in, and it's delightful, because you are, you're, you're, you're performing on a different level that way, when your character is that much more vulnerable and able to actually be hurting in front of another person, being real in front of another person. Otherwise, Susie's always been very guarded, um, so that's kind of, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. I hope it came off on the screen to how it felt doing it. You never know. I haven't seen it yet, but I hope. So my grandmother turns 93 in a couple days, mm -hmm. and we have watched the show together since season one. Cosmic. She's born and raised in New York. Oh, amazing. And the way that you captured the essence of that time is so incredible. Tell me a little bit about what that was like for the two of you. What? Yeah, actually, she would be Midge Maisel's age, yeah. too. Just about the exact age. That's what Midge Maisel would be. You know, my, my father was born in the Bronx, and he was a comic, and he worked the Greenwich Village basket houses, and he worked the Catskills, and he did the tours and worked at the Copacabana. And, and so I kind of grew up with all these amazing stories about New York during that time. And, you know, and the whole time I'm going, ah, why am I in California? Like, why did you move out here? If it was so great back there, what's going on? So it was, like, it was, it was sort of our chance to bring those stories back to life mm -hmm. um, and we just turned my father into Rachel which is weird it was our attempt to sort of bring to life this sort of fairyland that we had heard about and thought what a great world for us to romp around in and we did romp there's a lot of romping what whatever ah too much talking boy are you in the wrong family kid how would Abe describe season five well full of twists and turns and acts of uh, sort of acts of outrageous bravery on, on everyone's part. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a culmination of everything that Amy and Dan have built for over four seasons. You're standing here now, five amazing seasons. What has this run been like? It, we keep using this phrase, and at the risk of sounding corny, it just has felt like lightning in a bottle. This show changed my life in more ways than I'll ever be able to describe and probably will be reflecting on for a really long time. I've met people who have changed my life and learned more of, about how to do what I do better than I ever thought possible, and it's just, it's just been incredible. So does Midge get her happy ending? 
It depends on what your definition of happy is. She gets an ending, and I, I think about something that Amy told me during our first season a lot. Um, I asked Amy, I bet maybe she's changed her mind, so maybe I'm not supposed to say this, but <laughs> during our first season, I was asking Amy what happened to Midge and Joel, and I was trying to figure out how to plan for, for you know, the arc of the show, however long it went on. And she told me that Midge and Joel would always be in each other's lives and they would always love each other, but they would never be able to be on the same page at the same time. And that Midge would always look back on the day before Joel left her as the happiest day of her life. I'm in. It's showtime! This is my lucky day! I'm gonna get this. You'll see.